Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, well, hopefully everybody's having a good day. Right now it's uh, 70 some degrees outside. Well, no, yeah, I'm probably about 70 degrees. So it's a nice day today. Uh, well, if you know, this past weekend was my international round. So I guess this is a reflection of uh, the round. Uh, if you guys don't know, the international round is uh, shooting from 20 yards all the way out to 65 yards. Um, shooting 60 arrows also. There's uh, three different uh, target faces that you um, use throughout. So the first um, three targets, 20, 25, and 30, I think it is. Um, you use, um, or no, excuse me, 20 and 25. You use a uh, 35 centimeter face, I believe. And then from 30 all the way out to 50, you use a 50 centimeter face, I believe. And then from 55 to 65, you use a 65 centimeter face, I believe. And it only counts as 5, 4, and 3, and that's it. That's only um, counts and everything. So um, it was uh, interesting. It started uh, lightning Saturday. So they ended up calling the uh, tournament Saturday. So uh, the people that shot on at the one o'clock flight, they missed it and they wasn't able to shoot. Uh, they got called like 20 minutes in or so. They had to uh, cancel it. So, um, but they were able to shoot if they wanted to shoot on Sunday. But a lot of people was from out of town, so they had to go back home, which sucks. You know, I mean, it is a tournament. And everything. Um, I shot on Sunday at the one o'clock flight. Um, it was interesting to shoot. Um, there wasn't that many people who shot first thing in the morning. There's three people who shot the tournament first thing in the morning. But um, once the storm and everything came through, Sunday morning it was um, 40 some degrees in the morning. So it was cold and it was windy. Uh, the wind stayed around. But then, um, what you call it, it warmed up to about in the 50s, so uh, that's what happened. It was pretty cool shooting it. I shot with uh, two other guys that shot recurve. They was gap shooting, which honestly, that's got to be crazy shooting from 20 to 65 yards gap shooting. I, strung, I was uh, string walking, which uh, was a challenge in itself anyways for... No, having to uh, know so many different uh, marks or how far you had to go down um, at each distance to try to keep track of it, to remember to move down, to be able to hit the target. Um, I lost one arrow, which was at the 50 yard line or the 50 yards. I was shooting in an angle because the three of us shot at the same time, so I was shooting in an angle and just plucked it and went off the target. Lost the arrow, but oh well, that's just the way it goes. Uh, the two guys that were shooting with me, um, gap shooting, of course, they uh, missed the target a pretty good bit of times. Um, once they got to 65-yard target, it was a little rough for them because uh, it wasn't made for the um, recurvers because they were shooting and trying to gap shoot, of course, and um, their arch was really, really big, and they kept on hitting limbs and deflecting their arrows and everything. The um, one guy, we practiced at 65 yards, and the first two arrows he shot, he hit a tree, or he hit a limb, deflected the arrow, and the other one went over the target. So he lost two arrows right off the bat, and I think at the end, he lost... Um, five arrows and we found one of his arrows but it was pretty cool I ended up shooting a 153 um, for some reason I started shooting well before even the tournament I started shooting left on the target I think what it was was I was still cold and everything and my back and everything was still like stiff as can be and I was popping and everything so it was um, it was interesting but I had fun and it was a great shoot. So now I have the 900 coming up. That's next month. So uh, the next uh, videos, you'll probably see me um, 
practice in front of 900, which is 60, 50, 40 at six arrows each end. So that's how that's going to be. As you can see, there goes Liam in the background. Oh, are you all right, bud? Yeah, he's okay. So that's what it's going to be. Um, I think the next video that's coming up this coming week, it will be a unboxing of a uh, riser, a bare bow riser. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue on uh, reserving my uh, center serving on my bow because it came loose before the tournament. And I really did not want to mess with it before the tournament. So I turned around and just put a little bit of super glue down the serving to keep it, hopefully try to keep it in place while I shot. And uh, since the tournament's over, now I'm reserving it, okay? So from now on, take it easy, be good, and shoot straight.